Don't miss the fallout from Double or Nothing. I'm gonna hurt you. Oh! oh! AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live at 8 on TBS. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Paul White, joined with the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And now we go to the ring with our very own Justin Roberts. Your opening contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit, being accompanied by Brittany Peter Avalon from Hollywood, California, weighing 215 pounds, the Hollywood Hunt, Ryan Nemeth. You know, I was talking to Ryan Nemeth earlier, Mark. You know, Why? He did, because he's a very interesting talent. I mean, this guy has got a movie that's won several awards internationally at the film festival. Now I'm telling you. I mean, this guy is legit. All right, if you say so. And his opponent from Osaka, Japan, weighing 231 pounds, Kunosuke to Kishita. Man, that kid's a star, isn't he? Hey, do you hear the crowd? Yeah, he's do you a star. Hear that? Yes. Listen, He's after last week, Paul, yeah. the match that he had with Adam Page put him on another level. Everybody knows that this guy can go. Now it's just about who he's in there with. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm a big fan of his. What an ovation. You got to respect that kind of talent. I mean, he's been doing this since high school. He's had over 800 matches. I don't think I had 800 matches until my first two years. No, I, I don't know. I don't know how many I had. I, I lost count. There's a very own Ryan Nemeth, who flew in today, because he was actually doing a appearance yesterday with Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm telling you. Big time. He's stepping it up, huh? Yeah, he is definitely stepping up. The Hollywood hunk. Got that Hollywood tan. Might oh, want to hit a little harder yeah, than that. Yeah, that's not going to get it. Especially that's with Takesha, who I actually talked about competing as a decathlete. Oh, you just hit him with some. Oh, my God. Incredible athlete, Kesta. Big, nice Irish whip in the corner, up and over. Uh, not that smart, Nemeth. Look at that. Did you see him, how easily his athleticism he just sprang up to the top rope? He's on parallel. The thing about him is he's athletic, but he's got size, strength. And he's got wrestling knowledge. You know, I'm, I'm not threat. attracted to men, Paul, but he's a good-looking guy. Too. All right, you can stop that. You're he's mine. pretty on the eyes. Cover. Right? You stop that now. You're mine. What? I, I will hit you with my car. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> now, there's a handsome dude right there. Pretty Peter Avalon. You say so. He's got a face made for trash bags. <laughs> Ryan Nemeth clubbing. To catch it in the back of the head with those elbows. Oh, hooked the tights, brought him back. Oh, he went to the eyes. What a, and the throat. Just bad guy 101. <laughs> bad guy 101. I'm going to hit you in the eyes. I'm the throat. As tremendous as Ryan Nemeth is right now, he's he's kind of fighting from beneath against the Kesha athletically. I, I would agree with that. And if I mean, he's he going to pull it. Pull every trick out of the book, right? Yeah, well, if he don't, if he don't stay on Kikeska, he's going to get hurt, and he's going to get hurt fast. Well, he's, he's staying on it. Yeah, I know, but I just, literally, he's let's staying talk on about Pretty Peter's luxurious hair. I'm mad. Why does he not have a Pantene commercial or something? He should have something. I'm going to start calling him Pantene. Pantene? <laughs> George hates me because I'm Peter. You see that wrestling come out? Yeah, Ryan's going back to the what got him in the game to begin with, some of that great amateur wrestling background. I don't oh know what he's doing gosh. here. This is just, you know, showing That's off. That's called putting the mustard on the hot dog. Oh, is that what that is? I, I don't think I could do that. I, I, I could use a hot dog and some mustard. Why do you got to bring up hot dogs? Because I'm hungry. I know, now I'm hungry. Ryan Nemeth needs to really control the tempo in this match, driving those knees into to catch these ribs. We've talked many a time. It's hard to fight if you can't breathe. But again, you look at the kind of training that Kanosuke's done in his career. I mean, he's kind of endured these kind of bouts of pain and shots to the stomach. It's part of that Japanese dojo style. There's a cover. Man. Nice kick out. Just that athleticism, you know. 
He's got so much core strength. He twitches that body. He's able to get those shoulders up off the mat. Ryan's got a lot of technique, too. So it's not like he's out here just getting by on his charm and good looks. No, uh, I agree 100%. He's definitely not getting by on good looks. No, but he needs to pick He needs to pick a body part and stick with it. Yeah. He's, he's kind of floating all over the leg. Yeah, he's on the arm. Yeah. He needs to find something to stick to and wear it down. You know, I think he's trying a bunch of things that just aren't working. Sometimes you can feel a guy when you're in there with him, you know what you're doing is not effective. You got to try something different. Oh, so. big, big shot. shot. Look how he rocked Ryan Nemeth with that. Big reversal. Look at the speed. Look at, Look at the speed. Oh, my God. Look at the speed. Bro, that dude got money written all over him. That's why he was almost a decathlete for Japan in the Olympics. He wanted to compete as a decathlete. You know what? Oh! Spin and sit out power bomb. Look at the flexibility, too, to roll out of that. That's a top tier athlete. I'll tell you what, Ryan better get on his horse. Oh, he sidestepped that, telegraphed that a little bit. Great DDT. Whoa. Massive DDT for Ryan. This could be this it. Could be it. Oh, big kick out. Look at the speed on the kick outs of Takesta. I mean, he kicks out with every bit of energy he has. Super impressive. It's like Ryan Nemeth going for some kind of a oh, neck breaker. Well, uh, enough of that stuff. Ooh, that was just a hardcore lariat. Just dial it up one on one. Yeah, that was just an old school mugging. I'm going to tear your head off. That's from you and our school, the playbook. Yeah, I like that. I like that playbook. Hit him hard to the teeth fall out. Or their soul. Ooh, ooh. The power. Wow. Oh. Mammoth get away from that one. Telegraph the boot. Big forearm right to the side of Nemeth. Nemeth is rocked. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You knew that was going to happen. Oh, come on. Just dessert. Oh, oh, the That's all over. To guess the on top. Now, this match, Kanosuke to Kishta. What's so impressive about watching Kanosuke work is how explosive he is. He's powerful, he's athletic, but he is so damn fast. He accelerated, he put his knee right through the back of Ryan Emma's head, face first. So impressive. Wow. There's your winner on tonight's elevation, Kanosuke Takesta. I love it when the crowd chooses a talent. Wrestling's biggest powerhouse is coming together to give you an event like you've never seen before. And send shockwaves through professional wrestling. This is about the undisputed elite. And Bullet Club. It's the pay-per-view event the world has been waiting for. AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling presents Forbidden Door. Live Sunday, June 26th on Pay-Per-View. This is Rampage. You're about to find out. He's a fighter. He never gives up. He never quits. There's levels to this game. Whoa! When you're on top of the mountain, everybody wants to push you off. Whoa! Oh, I've given everything to this. I am undefeated, baby. I am one of the best pro wrestlers. And what I want is some respect. It's game on. AEW Rampage. Fridays at 10 on TNT at any time on demand and the TNT app. Up next on Elevation, women's competition, Mercedes Martinez, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, in action. Well, we are super excited here. Mark Henry and I, we are being joined by Ring of Honor's very own Caprice Coleman. Yes. Welcome aboard, young man. Thank you. for Thank you. I'm honored to be here. Hail Elevation, and I get to throw it to my great friend, Bobby Cruz, for the next match. This match is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit and it is for the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship! <laughs> Introducing first, the challenger, 
Wrestling out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Maserati! Well, you know, that brings a whole new meaning to that old song about my Maserati does 185. Man, that's, I'm seeing speed. Right? I lost my license, and now I can't drive. One of the hardest working females on the Indies. She's actually got, went to China, well traveled, six years into the game, trained by Kenny King and by one of your friends. Uh, D'Lo Brown. D'Lo Brown, absolutely. D'Lo Brown has friends. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Actually, I love D'Lo, so. Wrestling out of Press City, CT, she is the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Mercedes Martinez. Love watching Mercedes Martinez to be here on Elevation. One of the facts that I learned about her, guys, she has held 21 different titles for 15 different pro wrestling companies. Yeah. That means wow. in every company she worked for, she got a title. And you know what, Paul? What's that? She fits perfectly with us, because we're both hoopers, and she was a high-level hooper. Oh, yeah, she got game. Oh, yeah, she got game. She got handles. She Caprice, got handles. I, I know you're very familiar with Mercedes. Absolutely, man. Definitely somebody. She started the Ring of Honor in the women's division when it started out. Had a great impact. And now she's here. She's actually won the Ring of Honor Women's Championship at Supercard of Honor, beating Willow Ford. And she's proven ever since that she's definitely a true champion. 21-year veteran as well. So every year she's been in the sport, she's won the championship. That's for. pretty crazy. That's yeah. good. Sam Hill of Beans just happened. Mercedes Martinez extended her hand in friendship and competition. And wow. Maserati, oh my no. God, Maserati wouldn't even shake her hand, touched her. Well, that's kind of the ring of honor. We had the, the code of honor, and you want to see what that person's about, whether they're going to adhere to the code of honor, and Maserati didn't do it. No, she didn't. Wow, looks like Maserati came here to get a championship. She's not here to make friends. Well, you know what? Out of wrestling, she's held down like five jobs at one time. This is a hard-working person trying to make it in professional wrestling, and she takes these opportunities very seriously. As she should, and I respect that 100%, Reese. I really do. You know, yep. there's an old saying in this business, too. You get ahead, you can't be afraid to step on toes. So, good for her. Speaking of heads, Mercedes Martinez got control. Man, this is... Maserati's in a deep headlock right now. She is in a deep headlock, Paul. About, I'm, about to scrape the pink off. Well, you know what? I'm looking at this 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 styling, and it's different than, than what we normally see. Oh, it definitely draws attention to, to, to Maserati. But I want to compliment to Mercedes on that reversal of that hammerlock with a leg trip. Just that wrestling experience and floating over, controlling the tempo. That's one thing that Mercedes does very well as a champion. She controls the tempo. She really makes her opponents work hard for everything that they can try to get. Wow, wow. look at that. As you said, work hard. That's almost like cat and mouse here. Maserati knew what she was going for. Looks like Mercedes might get a little frustrated here. Maserati smart, using the ring to her advantage. So many times, younger talent doesn't use the ring to their advantage. But you gotta pay attention. Just that quick look away. Now that's Costa close. right there, ripping her out. Look at the brute strength. She's not gonna let it go. Stays with it straight Whoa. up in the air. Look at the time limit on that. We could probably count to a thousand if we wanted to. Zay's just showing out now why she is who she is. The Ring of, Ring of Honor Women's Undefeated Champion. Look at the poise, how she's in such control right there. Not even struggling. She could hold up there all day if she wanted to. You no, know, that's Super a dangerous position, all that blood rushing to her head. Absolutely. And it's going to be a, like hitting the pool when she comes down. Oh! Listen to that. Great oh. resilience, great kick out on Maserati's part. She's dizzy right now. Yeah, she looks a little disoriented. Yeah. Takes a long time. She looks time. like me next to the salad bar. What am I doing here? Why, why, why am I here? <laughs> well, I tell you, after being in the air that long, it takes a long time for you to get your bearings about you That's because cool. all that blood is in the top of your head. Your eyes are blurry. And now she's in a hard situation trying to get up. Back to her feet, stomps the toes. Now, that's desperation right there. That's smart. That's the self-defense one-on-one. Wow. Somebody's grabbing from behind. 
Whoa, look at Mercedes. She's very aware of what's going on. Absolutely. When you use martial arts against somebody like Mercedes, you, you can't just throw it at her. You have to know what you're doing because she's well versed in the martial arts. Great DDT. Better get that cover. Great cover by Maserati. Hooked both legs, put all her weight on Mercedes. Really trying to apply a solid cover. Good for her. We got a Mercedes and a Maserati in the ring. Who's going to race? You know oh, what? That's true. How do you think of that? Very aware of you, good. sir. Yeah. Touché. Look at Maserati. She's got that choke using the ropes. Referee Posey is not, is, is not having any of it, though. He's trying to enforce the rules for a Posey's change. Posey's on point for once. I'm for for really once. Proud. For once. I'm real proud. I'm never proud of Zebras anyway. Every time, every time Maserati turns away from Mercedes, she loses what Ooh. she has. Snap suplex. Sometimes that's a rookie mistake. They, yeah. get, they get lost in the match. You know, they get tied up with the crowd and the atmosphere or referee instructions. And, you know, and a veteran will seize that opportunity to look away. And that, here she might be making Martinez mad, and that's not what she wants to do. Wow! Over the head, double choke slam. Paul White, what do you have to say about that, man? I think that was well executed. Mercedes used her weight, threw Maserati across the ring by her head, where the head goes, the body. Oh. Good counter by Maserati. That leg sweep Never to the gut. Never saw it coming. Never saw it coming. That was an unorthodox move. Yeah, kick to the side of the head. She needs the cover. There you go. You got to believe if she didn't walk around and went straight to the cover, she would have got more than just that two yeah. count there. She would have got, she very likely could have got a closer. Well, that'll come with seasoning, too, guys. More experience, more experience Maserati gets, the more she'll learn to when to turn in and keep it dialed in. But you know what? She has the champion reeling. She Not does. Mercedes is in trouble right now. Absolutely. It's a nice, solid rear choke put on. And you can tell by the look on her face, she is serious and about this business. That's a big thing that you said, too, because a lot of times you can look at the face of a champion, you can see if the champion's in trouble or not. The champion's in trouble right now. She is. One thing Mercedes has over Maserati is a little bit of size and power. Yeah. And she's able to use that size and power right there to counter. Look at the aggressive, and that's what Mer Maserati needs to do to continue to attack Mercedes like that. Be a vicious bulldog. Well, that knee, that may have caused her. She's holding on to it. Wow! This is what the champion is so good at, closing the game. She knows when to take it home. She knows when the person's reeling, and she's going to do everything she needs to do to end it here. She has to capitalize. Oh, Is that wow. that execution that form? The, the, oh, she nailed it. Wow, look at the soles of those boots. Those aren't wrestling boots. Those are hiking boots. You, you know see that? So oh, my God. That Maserati just lost the grill. Man, if I ever get hit like that, I'm calling my lawyer. It'll be the next time. <laughs> Look at the power of Mercedes Martinez. Spine buster. That could do it right there. One, two, two. wow. Oh, big kick out. So close. The determination from Maserati, man. You have to know she's fighting for everything she has. She says, you know what? I have this opportunity to make it so I can give up some of these jobs and actually do what I want to do. She's not going to go home easy. No, absolutely not. And she's really brought it to Mercedes Martinez as a champion. This is really a tough woman. It. She's a tough woman. She's a stunt woman. She's done a lot of jobs just to keep the ends met. And I'd be damned if she's going to come out here and not finish the job. Big forearm shots. Look at the champion get her hands up, try to protect herself a little bit. Oh, She caught it. Caught it. Countered that. Oh, man. There's that power and size advantage that Marci Mar Mercedes Martinez has over Maserati. That might have been her last mistake right there. The Could way, the way she was like stalking. setting up for the execution That's right it. here. Oh! You execution. You can count to a thousand. I can't. I can't count to that. No, stop it. Ah, about, here it comes. Broad City. There it is. She's got a tap. Got a tap. There you go. The winner of this match by submission and still Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Mercedes Martinez. Caprice, this was awesome. Good to have you. Now we got Mercedes Martinez, the champion, still standing above. What an honor. Don't miss the fallout from Double or Nothing. I'm going to hurt you. Oh! oh.
AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live at 8 on TBS.